When someone says that he is with us, they can mean a couple of different things. That phrase could mean that somebody is physically with you, not separated from you. That can also mean that somebody is on your side. Somebody's backing you up. Both of those meanings of that phrase, he's with us, really fit our next name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is the name Emmanuel. Our scripture reading is from Matthew chapter 1, beginning at verse 22. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet, the virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. St. Matthew, in the words that I just read, was quoting from, again, the book of Isaiah, just as we heard earlier, written about 700 years before the birth of Jesus our Savior. In those words, he gave us another name for Jesus, a Hebrew word, Immanuel, consisting of uh, two parts, Immanu, a Hebrew word meaning with us, El, E-L in English, meaning God, God with us. That name tells us an awful lot about our Savior Jesus and why we have every reason to celebrate tonight. First of all, it tells us that that baby, that baby born of Mary, that, that tiny, helpless, naked little baby wrapped in cloth was no mere baby. This was God, wrapped in human flesh. If you're like a lot of people, I'm guessing that you at least sometimes have a little trouble relating to God. I mean, after all, God is in heaven. We're on earth. God is spirit. We're physical. We're material. God is all-knowing. Almighty. We're limited in what we know and what we can do. Perhaps most important, God is holy. And we most certainly are not. We are sinners. But we probably don't have a hard time relating to a baby, right? A human baby perhaps the most relatable creature in the world. After all, we all started out that way. Here we see one of the reasons why we celebrate this night. That baby is Emmanuel, God with us. We couldn't go up to Him. He came down to us. We have no right to approach the holy God, but He came to be among us. He came to live with us, to be one of us. And that leads us to that other meaning of that phrase, He's with us. That means God isn't against us, despite the fact that we are poor, miserable sinners and God is holy. He's for us. He's with us. He sent His Son to be one of us, to bear our sins. He loves us. He has mercy on us. He forgives us. And his name is Emmanuel.